Hey, this episode is for you, vampires, because I am sick of your misunderstandings of human anatomy. You're all so concerned with trying to be sexy and brooding that you don't know a vein from an artery from a capillary, which is how the British say it. So let's fix that. Just promise not to use any of this information on me, right? We cool? All right. So on a previous episode, we already established that humans, while there is a disease that makes them sensitive to light called porphyria, there is no disease that makes us require the same kind of blood diet that you vampires do. So going forward with our blood sucking advice, let's just not worry about human canines and assume that you all have the hardware to get things done. First, you have to identify your target. Do you want just a sip or do you want to drain them to death? First, some basic anatomy. Here's the human body. You are either going to be biting an artery or one of the body's many veins. Now the critical difference in our blood plumbing here is that arteries carry blood coming from the heart and veins carry blood coming to the heart. This means that blood flowing through our arteries is at a higher pressure, therefore meaning that arteries have a much larger diameter than veins. Arteries will have more blood flowing through them per unit time, making them the proper choice if you want to kill your victim. Here's where to strike. The carotid artery, which branches around my trachea here, would make a deadly and delicious meal. Probably the best option though, if you wanted to kill your victim, would be to go for their aorta, which is above their heart, but behind their breastplate. It's an inch in diameter, and if you punctured it, they would die in minutes. Yeah, vampire stuff. Or you could go for the femoral artery, which runs along the inner thigh and is about the diameter of a finger and biting there is still all of the sexies. Okay, so let's say you just want a bit of that sweet, sweet crimson. Where do you have to bite a person so that they live? Here's where you can go for that old vampire standby, the jugular veins. There's four areas of the neck where you can access them and biting the person there, they would probably require serious medical attention, but they'd also likely survive. Probably. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a science guy. And of course you could always bite an area without a major artery or vein. Maybe you could bite into somebody's shoulder and suck on the small capillaries there. Uh, but maybe that's just me not understanding what's really at stake here for you guys. Get it? You get it? Subscribe! But what if you want to make a point with a really, really cool vampire bite? How about this famous bite from Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Could you actually bite into someone's neck and get the cigarette smoke out of their lungs? Well, I know you vampires could just try this out, but I can't because I'd be rightly arrested. So I looked at human anatomy for the answer. It turns out that not only does the carotid artery run right against your trachea, but it's of a diameter such that even human canines could pierce through it and maybe make it to the trachea itself. And considering that vampires have longer than average canine teeth, you know, Things, there's a good chance that it could pierce right through the artery and into the trachea and get at that sweet, sweet smoke. Just don't get addicted to it. Although the blood addiction is probably um, the worst problem. Uh, talk to Blade? I don't know. So there you have it, vamps. Everywhere you can bite a person depending on what you want to do. Now, I've done everything that you've asked for. I get to live forever now, right? Come on, I even, I got the hair already and everything and all that. Want more science? Check out my last video on when we are gonna step foot on Mars. Subscribe to Nerdist for more videos. If you want Because Science, two days earlier than everyone else, head to Vessel at Vessel.com slash Nerdist. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, you can hit me up in the comment section below. Thanks.